I'm assuming you already have VirtualBox downloaded, but if you don't, I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description. I'm also going to leave another link down below in the description to the Windows XP ISO file. So once you're on this link, you want to scroll down and then click on ISO image. And now it's downloading. So guys, once you downloaded and installed VirtualBox, which is very easy to do, now you want to click on new. And then you just want to type in the name of your virtual machine. So I'm just going to call it Windows XP. And then you want to select the folder where you want to save your virtual machine. I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Windows XP. Select it. And now you want to choose your ISO image. I have it saved right here. And then you want to click on next. And now you want to type in the username of your account. Put in any password that you want. Confirm the password. And then type in your host name. And I click on next. And now you want to choose how much memory and cores you want to give it. So it's just Windows XP. You should be fine with about two, but I'm just going to give it four. And then for the processes, you should also be fine with two, but again, I'm just going to give it four because I've quite a lot. And I click on next. And now you want to choose how much storage that you want to give it. I'm just going to leave it as a default. Click on next. And I click on finish. And now it should just start up automatically. And now we're on this. If you want to make it full screen, you want to click on view at the top. And then you want to click on full screen mode. You could also click on scaled mode and then make it full screen like this, but the quality will be slightly worse, but you can access your other applications easier rather than just going into straight full screen. And then that's how you do it.